Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I actually just got back from a week down in Moab, Utah. Um, I spent a few days overlanding and then five days on the river. I actually floated from uh, Moab, actually a put-in called Mineral Bottom, in Moab all through canyon lands out to the Colorado River and then pulled out and rode a jet back jet boat back. Um, but before I left, I wanted some kind of a charger because I was going to use my phone for photography, and I picked up this guy off of Amazon. I wasn't sure quite what to expect. I did play with it for about a week before I left, um, and it seemed solid, but I didn't know what it was going to do, you know, in an actual desert river environment. And it performed perfectly, so that's why I'm bringing it to your attention. The name Benefice, uh, I don't know if that matters. I've seen this branded several different ways on Amazon. It was about 24 bucks. It's a, a 20,000 milliamp battery with a solar charger. And it uses a dual output right up here at the top and an old school USB um, micro if you want to charge it the old fashioned way like with power. But it does actually charge uh, by the sun. And I played around with it before I left and it seemed to work solid and it did perform great. You can actually see these streaks are water I got inside. It was covered in sand. It's got wet you know, beat up. It was hanging off the side of a kayak, basically, and I adjusted as the day went on to try to get full power. Every night I charged my phone back up. Sometimes it was, you know, near the end, sometimes only about half, but it worked great. Um, the asymmetry at the top here shows you where the single button is. Um, if I hold that, it tells me the uh, battery power. If I, I mean, if I push it in, if I hold it, Turns on the light, does have dual flashlights here. If I hit it again, it goes to an SOS. If I hear it again, it goes to strobe and then shuts off. Um, but I just beat the crap out of this thing and it worked. Has a compass on the back. It did seem to be reasonably accurate, but you know, I had backup and we were using GPS too to find campsites. But anyway, what this thing does is it's got this solar panel here. So as long as it's facing the sun during the day, you will hopefully charge it up so it should be able to constantly keep a phone charged um, if you charge the phone overnight. Now I want to show you this. I'm going to shut off some lights here. Um, notice the light up here went out and it went out because there isn't enough to charge the solar panel but I'm going to use my can of daylight here. This is the through night TN50. This thing's amazing. If I drop that on you can see now it's blinking up at the top because it's charging. Now, I never got this last one to stop blinking. I don't know what's up with that, but I did um, seem to get a full charge here. And this is not, not all that bright. You know, it's on its lower setting at the moment. But I did push this thing um, and, I, you know, I'd have to scrape the, the, the sand off of it and, you know, wipe it down with water to try to keep it going. And it worked great. So if you're interested in something like this, backup, spare, preparedness, whatever, um, something in, that looks like this, you know, what, however it's branded, um, I've had great luck beating it up. Um, full week of testing before I left, and then when I did go, um, I didn't baby it one bit, and it's, it's doing just fine. Um, second part of this video, I want to show you about how to manage paracord. You can see there are two pieces here. There's this this end here and then this frayed end here. I actually made this while I was in the kayak because I had to hook it up to the back. Um, I forgot to do that before I left um, or got in the kayak. There aren't a whole lot of places to stop. But anyway, I wanna show you how to finish up paracord. So this, is, this one's finished, this one's not. Now, a lot of people, what they do is they cut their paracord or whatever to the size they want, grab their lighter, <clears throat> This is my REI brands, these particular Zippos here. And what happens is, if you melt this, you know, you're melting the inside and the outside. And they're a little bit different, and they don't quite seal very well. And they end up breaking free, and then you got the fraying stuff. So this is actually how you finish paracord. I'm going to snip it off, and then I'm going to push the what's called the, the kern, or the inside, right there till it sticks out, cut it, melt that down. Whoops, I forgot, I need to pull it forward. I was listening to something in the background. Do this again. So I'm gonna pull out the center, 
It's known as the mantle. Just like that, pull all those out. Trim them. Now, I'm gonna slide this forward, just like that. Light it up, heat it a little, carefully melt it around. I'm gonna use my finger for that. Look at that, beautiful. Seal it up. There you go. That's how you do it. Anyway, so I can recommend this. I like it. I used it. It's worth the money. With that, Doc out.